I'm Shelley from bristolcounselling.co.uk. I help people to manage stress eating and comfort eating. Um, this is such an unusual time, so I'm just videoing myself off the cuff to let you know how I'm coping. Obviously, I come from a background where I know what comfort eating is like. I've done a lot of comfort eating and I've gone up and down my weight over the years by a couple of stone um, regularly. But it is under control right now, or it was until the coronavirus hit us. Um, so I want to tell you how I'm coping now. I'm not going to lie to you. I have had a couple of binges or a few binges and I have been shocked. And um, my parasympathetic nervous system has been kicked into fight or flight over fears of losing my business, um, fears of getting ill, fears of passing this on to other people, uh, the news of the deaths, you know, I, I don't need to list it to you, you've all been coping with it every single day. And one thing that I've learned most from working with my clients, thankfully, uh, at least half of my clients are still able to work virtually, and I'm so happy for this because I, I love my work, um, I don't know where I'd be without it. But the one thing I keep learning every day over and over again is to allow time for how we feel. Um, and so many people seem to expect themselves to feel like they want to learn a new hobby and make the best of themselves and be the best person they've ever been in this time. And I think that's a natural response to want to not really face the real situation, which is that we are really stressed out by this. Um, so the first thing I want to do is to just encourage you to allow how awful you might feel and to just allow time and space for that and just accept it without having to do anything about it, without having to be amazing. Um, this is not the most amazing time for anybody or for most people, um, me included. So I realized that I have to get to a place of not wanting to binge or not wanting to drink. Um, that has to happen naturally. It has to come from my real natural organic desire. And that's pretty much what I base all of my courses on and my work with managing eating. Um, and the way that I've done that recently um, is I've been sticking to a schedule of doing what my body needs. So I've been doing Pilates every morning and yoga and going for a walk when it's not so busy, really early in the morning. Um, and then I've been working online with the clients that I've got. Um, I used to do marketing in the morning and that's the whole thing just screwed my body up being on the net all the time. So I just really couldn't do that. So now I have to do something physical. And I love the schedule of it because it gets me into my body. So that's the first thing that starts me on to the path of well-being. And then throughout the day, I just keep checking in with what I need, um, not what I think I should do, or, or noticing if I think I should be doing something, and allowing space for how I feel, and continuously checking in with whether I'm treating myself the way I would want to be treated by somebody, and telling myself things like I like myself, and... Uh, you know, coming up with reasons why I like myself. And I really believe that it's this kind of attitude and being just so kind to ourselves or to myself that's made me stop the binging and stop having a glass of wine at the end of the day. Um, I honestly feel like I don't really want it now. Um, and I feel lucky. I hope that helps.